Right, hello. If you haven't watched the first Blender video, I recommend watching that before this one. Because this one teaches you all the stuff you need to know about jerseys. And if you don't know anything about posing and rendering and all that stuff, then this will be useless. So what I would do first is I would get whatever model I want to use for the jersey, so I'll just get, oh, I don't know, I'll just get Google Trooper, because I know that's an alright size. So we've got Google Trooper in, we'll just put it on the mode, um, and what we do, what we do now is, I would get the jersey file and I've got one already cut off the body but um, I'm going to teach you how to cut it off so let's get one of these my models are really big so I have to size it down most of the time depending on which one I use because I've got two different ones um, some are a bit dodgy so if this one doesn't work I'll cut and I'll use the other one but it's exactly the same process, so don't be alarmed if the skin suddenly changes. So now that that's the same size, I'm just going to move that over one. And then we can get to the editing. This is um, just a really dodgy way to do it. I've really forgotten how to do it properly. But uh, this still works. But it's just a slightest bit dodgy. Um, yeah, 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 we'll just do it. So what you need to do is you can do it like this. If you if everything's selected, you can hold Control and then drag over and it deselects. And then if you hold Shift, then it just deselect a bit. And if you hold Shift and do it, then you select stuff. So that's just so you know the tools but if we go to this green thing down here and then we go to spine 5 let's see what that is that's this part um, so we'll need to deselect um, the jersey so the clavicle is this bit on the arm if you've done that already um, so we'll do the left and right this is just more easy. I mean, I've got that. So I'll just time lapse this bit. Right, so once you've got everything selected, which isn't the jersey, once you've got the jersey deselected, just hover over it, right click, and then click delete verses. That should give you this, and then it's ready upon the ghoul trooper. So now what you need to do is pretty much the exact same but the opposite, so you need to delete the body of the ghoul trooper. So once we've got that all selected, deleted, um, we can add this. But I do recommend deleting um, the dog tags as well because they just cut right through the, the jersey and it doesn't look clean. So I'll just quickly remove these and then we can get on to adding the jersey.
So, we've got that deleted. Now, it might look a, just the tiniest bit dodgy. But, um, anyway, what we do is select all of this and then we go snap and selection cursor. That should do this. And this is what I mean about how stuff might look weird. And it's an easy fix before we do anything drastic. Um, all we need to do, well, all I do, is just drag these bits back in the edit mode so it doesn't clip through the jersey. I mean, this doesn't happen to all my models, and every time I do this, because I sometimes just delete it anyway. Um, when I'm doing it through the thing, but this is just a an easier way, an easier way to do it. Right, now, I've got all of that sorted out, it's still a bit um, chunky or whatever back here because it it just looks a bit wrong and stuff's still clipping but it's just a tutorial so you can figure it out because it's just exactly what I did there. But anyway, so once you've got all that done, um, you just select it all and then click Control J and then that binds it all together. Here is what's a bit weird on the way I do it. Um, there's different ways to do it. I just do it a bit wrong. It's because when I do this, sometimes, yeah, sometimes um, the arm likes to poke through. And if it does do that, you can just, when you're posing, just go into edit mode and just kind of delete this top bit and then it should look fine well anyway that's that bit done and now we can go on to actually doing the TJ files which is putting logos or new jersey files on top of this jersey so I'm going to go and show you how to do that so what you're going to want to do is go into shading tab and then click on, well I you should have done this beforehand but it's easier if you've not got any models in already. So if you click this and then if you've got the same thing I've got up here, don't worry about it because all you need to do, if you want to change the colours like that, just do it like that but all you really need to do is delete these and drag this over and then connect it to the defuse and that's going to bring up this orange weird looking thing and all you need to do now is go into this bit go down find the TGA file and then save it and go image save as and then just save it whatever I already got it saved so I don't need to do that so once you've done that, open it up in Photoshop, and then I'll teach you how to do it from there. So, I've already got one done. I made this quite a bit ago. Um, it's quite easy to do it from the actual... I couldn't find the actual file, so I'm just going to show you this. Um, it's pretty easy. So all you really need to do kind of just mark all of this off really quick so all you really need to do is get onto the actual layer um, get 
the select tool if I can find it. Just quick select, why not? And then select all the way around until you've got this. And then you can use whatever color you want. I'm just gonna keep it with um dot why not? We'll do red. And oh need a bigger brush. Just colour it all in. And there's your red bit. And you can do exactly the same with the yellow bits. And just select them all. Um, just let's select all that. So once we've got that selected, just pick another colour and go over the top. Once you've got that done, it's pretty much fine, you just mess around with it. Do you like um, just a load of patterns? All you need to do is save as and save it to wherever you want it to be saved. Save it as a TGA file, and then click save. So, once you've done that, you need to go into this bit, which we've already got done, and then click open, go to where you found it saved. I'll find um, this one, it's just kind of a BH one I made, and it works. So, you can use whatever one you want. Uh, I'll use the. Uh, I'll try find the one I just had up before. Just give me a minute. Right, see, so yeah, I found that one. Um, what I would normally do is add like a, an image in the middle, like a team logo or whatever. But it's totally up to you. So, so the face might look a bit mashed, and. If it does look like that, all you need to do is find the actual head. Yep. And then there you go, it looks fine. So after you've done that, I do recommend watching the first video first because that shows you how to pose everything. And yeah, it's pretty much done. It's quite easy, it takes a bit of time, but once you're used to it, you can just. It's so easy. Yeah, well that's it for this video, um, if it did help you, I'll be posting one Blender video every week. So if you do want to see them, then subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss them. But that's been me, so I'll see you later.